Hallo, <laughs> it's Petra from Petra's Cauldron. I'm so sorry I haven't done a video lately. I wasn't in a good mood. Um, I had a little trouble with my brand new knee. I pulled something when I fell in December last year, so it came back to hunt me and it hurt me, so I wasn't doing anything. So, but today it's a different story. I'm feeling much better. I took ibuprofen, so now it's getting better. So what are we going to make? We have the weekend coming up, and guess what? Now summertime is knocking at the front door. Grilling is big time deal here in America and also in Europe. But this is what we're going to do. We're going to make a German potato salad. I have been asked them at BJ's just the other day, Petra, can you please show me how to make that fantastic German potato salad? And I said, okay, I can make that for you. So, and also for my good dear friend, Holly, her husband, John, that's his favorite. So I'm going to mention him in it. And I'm not sure if that is okay, but I do it anyway. So now here is how we're going to make it. And this is what you need. Okay. It's, it's, it's a little work in prep work, but I promise you it's paying off it's so good. So you need potatoes. So I, I cook them, I peel them, and then you chop them in pieces like so, or whatever size you like, you know, so, but mostly they're like this. I don't make them too small because then they break and I don't like that. You need eggs. Um, I have been using today my um, uh, quail eggs, but I'm going to do it differently. I use my pickled ones. I pickled them in the juice for my, for my pickles. You see here, that's the German style ones. And I showed you last time where I bought it. It's from Hengstenberg. I bought it at Big Nuts. And I pickled these ones. And they're pickled in, in that juice. And I put in extra. Come here so that you can see it. I put in garlic and parsley. Scharfe Scheiße Jalapeno. And, um, you know, all this good stuff. So pepper, salt, onions. And these are pickling for now four, five, six weeks. Yep. You need onions. You need um, the pickles. These are the ones from Hengstenberg. I cut them. You need some tomatoes. And we like to use some Fleischwurst in it. That's called German Bologna. In German, it's called Fleischwurst. Bologna. Bologna. Ah, thank you. So, and um, then for, uh, for color, some green onions from my backyard. I found some leftover bacon, so I thought, ah, oh, why not? I can dump that in too. Why not? Now, this is something different. These are the leaves from my garlic I planted in my backyard. Now, that's the difference. These are from my green onions, and this is from the garlic leaves. So, when you plant the garlics, you know, then this comes all up. And I use them because they're very tasty. They taste like garlic and I chop them in pieces like here. You can add them to salads or to soups, how you, how you like it. And I thought that's something good. You need pepper. You need pepper. You need garlic. A little dutch of oregano, some basil. You need some ketchup and you need some Dijon mustard. That's our favorite, right? Mm -hmm, yeah. That's our favorite. Well, usually use grey coupon, but... Yeah. Yeah, that's right, but I don't have any. So we use this one here. And then you need the all juice. The huh? It's all the same. <laughs> yeah. Then you need the juice of the cucumbers, um, the pickles. And some salt. Very simple. Pickle so, juice. Pickle juice. That's it. Pickle juice. Okay, let's begin. So now we are adding our onions. And you do it by, by taste. I really <clears> like <throat> onions. These are the sweet Vidalia onions. I prefer them in my potato salad. Very tasty. Then you add your pickles. You want to have some? Right now, no. Yeah, no. No, no. Mmm, they're so yummy. And then you add your tomatoes. And you can use any type of tomatoes you have. I had those ones left over. Um, they're like cocktail tomatoes. And you can use the tiny ones, you know. Uh, you can use any tomato. And then you add your Flashwurst. A.K.A. Baloney. A.K.A. Baloney, that's right. We add your green uh, chopped onions. Then you add your garlic. If you have it, if you don't, then don't. I just had it and I thought, why not? Where is my bacon? Oh, I have that already. In. Oh, here's my bacon. Here's my bacon. Look what's in my bacon. So, see here, this is beautiful. Nice colors. Yeah. Yeah. We like colors. So, then you need your pepper. And I use about a teaspoon. You need garlic. We like garlic a lot. 
you can use fresh one but today it's my lazy day so it's okay i can do that then you'd use your oregano oh that's the one says oh you need mayo i forgot the fucking mayo <laughs> i'm gonna get that in a while in a moment you need some basil and when you go dry stay with dry dry herbs you know they soak up the juices and when they soak it up you know then they they become more um potent so just for the ones you know so here about two 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 table two tablespoons yeah so that's about two tablespoons see here yeah so and you want to have <clears throat> the um, ketchup for sweetness brings a little sweetness to it and it's about this much three tablespoons three yeah about two and then you need the juice the pickle juice and um, show you about so much uh -huh. I don't know how much it is but yeah just a quarter cup a quarter cup yeah, yeah. About that. then you need some salt yeah not with a fork that was smart, no? yeah. wasn't that smart? Yeah. Oh, I love it when I'm so smart. Okay, well, <laughs> get your mayo. That's probably one of the main ingredients. Yeah, you can use any mayo you want. We prefer the Japanese one because it's just tastier in our eyes. I don't know what it is. It's just better. Just better. It tastes better. Right. Yeah. So, and you need about a half cup. Or we'll go by taste. So this mayo is not a cheap mayo. It costs about six dollars for that, but yeah. it's worth it. It is for us. And then you get your your eggs. So now I'm gonna start fishing out my quail eggs. You know what? I'm. You know what? Let me go and grab another um, spool. So I fished all my quail eggs out and you can use as many eggs as you want to. And I leave them like so, quarter them. They're gonna be smooshed in anyway, so it doesn't matter. You know, so. So I went ahead and um, I cut them all down. And I like to have a good ratio with the um, with the eggs. I like I like a lot of eggs in my potato salad. I maybe want to add some more. I have to go to my egg dealer, Isabella. <laughs> she has the big brown eggs from her chicken. She has tons of chicken, and she isn't far away from here. And she has the best eggs. They're all organic and running free, and they're loved. And oh God, they're the best eggs. So we don't have too many girls anymore. But some of our quails, they passed the girls, so it's not producing too much and it's winter time, they are not doing anything. Now you mix it all nicely, you see how I do that here? And then you, it's a good thing, you know, when you make your potato salad, especially for the summertime now, if you have a big party going on or something like that, make it in advance, you can make it the night before. So you don't have any stress next day when you're setting up your barbecue and, um, and the people are going to show up. And it gives the salad enough time to um, marinate. Marinate, yeah, exactly. <clears throat> Getting all those wonderful herbs and spices in here. So I don't know how many potato salads I have made in my life. Good grief. Yeah, I've, I've enjoyed them for over 30 years. So. That's, that's right, over 30 <laughs> years. It's now 32. 32. Oh, no, 33 years. 33. Next month be 33. Next month, yeah, 33 years. Holy moly. It's a lot of potato salad. A lot of potato salad. <laughs> so, okay, now let's see how it tastes. Like, usually, I never have to put something else in it, but I think I want to add today a little olive oil and also maybe some extra vinegar, so I'm not sure. Let's see. <laughs> Yummy. You want to try? Here. I try. Same bit. Really good. Really good. Now, we don't mm -hmm. need to add any oil, olive oil extra. No? No, I wouldn't put any oil there. No. That's and good. I think it's perfect. Yeah. Maybe a little more salt. Maybe. Maybe just or a little touch. Of, oh, yeah. What? 
I was going to say you could go a little bit off script and, and use some complete seasoning. Oh, you love your complete. I do. Yes, we can put some complete in it. Yeah. And guess what, Cause, people? Because it has MSG in it. And I bought a new one. <laughs> so you're safe, Shatsi. Yeah. You are safe. So not too much because there's a lot of salt in it. Yep. here, like so. Not too much. You don't want to mm. fuck it up. No, nope. don't want to do that. No. And with the German potato salad, now that is the beauty. The longer you have it in your refrigerator, the better it tastes. <laughs> but usually our potato salad or mine never lasts longer than maybe two days. That's it. Yeah. And when Kieran Jeet gets wind of this one here and he sees that video, he's going to be knocking on our door tomorrow anyway. That means that is gone. He loves it. Now you can you can pair this with anything you want, any type of burgers or grilled chicken or steaks or whatever you want. Or you just eat it as it is. You know. Yeah. Right. That's it. So now I'm going to put it on a plate, and then you get to see it, people. I yeah. played. So we are back, and I played it. So this is enough for Greg and for myself. And look how gorgeous that is. See. You can see your pickles, you can see the fleshwurst, yeah. you can see the tomatoes in Yummy. it. And you can see all the beautiful ingredients. So this is wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Now what I want you to do is, please like and subscribe. Make sure that you're going to make it this season and tell me how people loved it. Because that's very, very delicious. And be careful with... Um, vinegar if you want to put some extra vinegar on it be careful with that but usually you don't need any extra vinegar on it just use that pickle juice pickle that's juice, enough yep. mm -hmm. that that is the kick a lot of people they use the the, the vinegar and it makes it no, sour and then it no. tastes like that no but this is what it is and i'm gonna show you how tasty that is <laughs> oh yeah yeah i can see you know, when you make it so for so many years, there's not a whole lot of um, extra spicing up afterwards, or it, it tastes nothing. Because I've done that, I don't know, 20,000 times. <laughs> <laughs> now, it depends on this region. You can also put in a sliced apple. Some people, they do that. My grandpa did it. You know, she always sliced an apple in little cubes. You used grapes in there too before, haven't you? I did, but, but the grapes, so the grapes sweet. wasn't, that was too sweet, yeah. yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So I started, you know, using apples that sometimes, again, Greg does, is, is not a fan of it. Nah, I am. I'm, I like the savory version better. Yeah, better. exactly. I'm not a big fan of apples in there. Mm -hmm. That's the reason why I don't put it in, you know, but uh, yeah, I like to have that sometimes. So sometimes I just make it for myself. And when I make it myself and I have an apple left over, then I use it, I peel it, cut it up in little pieces and then pump it in that's it okay my friends so that's it for today um, I'm sorry again that um, you guys had to wait for so long for another video but like I said I have brand new knees and sometimes they're acting up and we had winter here and then um, when they have winter it hurts anyway so make it subscribe it and please like it and share this video and send it over to your friends you know who like to make potato salad so I'd like to thank you and um, see you later, alligator. Tschüss. <laughs> there it is.